Hi everyone and welcome. I am so honored that you are here to join me as we crochet this freaking adorable mushroom bucket hat. Uh, this is about a five to six hour project I would say, depending on how quickly you can crochet. But it's pretty simple, although I do have to give a disclaimer here. You are going to have to watch my previous video, which is crocheting the bucket hat. I actually did a heart rendition in that video. Obviously, you don't have to do the heart. I'm just going to be showing you in this video how to do the detailing of this edge of the bucket hat, like the rim and uh, the little circles that go on top. So make sure to check that one out and uh, let's get into the materials. Jumping right into this project, I will show you the materials that you're going to need for it. So firstly, some fabric scissors, obviously, and a yarn needle for, not until the end I guess, um, our crochet hook though. In this video, I'm going to be using a 4mm hook, um, and I will say when I made a bucket hat before, and you are going to need to watch that video to complete your mushroom bucket hat. I used a 3.25 in that video, but I kind of like the bigger look for the mushroom hat style specifically, so I use a little bit of a bigger hook and I do make the hat a little bit bigger. So other than that, we've got only two yarn colors, my favorite uh, yarn bee, not sponsored, um, and the colors are chili red and uh, ivory. So that is all the materials that you will need. We'll go ahead and get started right away on our red yarn and we're going to actually make the base of the hat, which is no different than the last video when I made a bucket hat before. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It is slightly different, but the only difference is um, in that video I make a slim hat, I guess, that fits snugly and I make this one obviously bigger, like I was saying. Um, so in order to, to do that, there's a point in the video, I want to say round uh, 8 or 9, where I say that you can add an optional extra round to make it bigger, so go ahead and add that round because that's important to actually make the hat bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and link that, no need to waste time, go check that one out and uh, come back when you're done and I will meet you back when I am done with the entire hat base. Two hours later. All right, and we are back with a hat that should look just like this, just like the one from my last video. Um, obviously, you don't have to add the heart from that video, but you just want the base um, in red or whatever color you're doing for the mushroom. But so now we are just going to move on to the detailing, and this video shouldn't be too particularly long because we're really just detailing the hat. But you're going to take your cream color and we're simply going to do a round around the edge here um, to make it look like, you know, the inside of a mushroom. That cream kind of color. So we're just going to do one round of single crochets around the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up right where I ended here. And to join in with this separate color, we're just going to go ahead and stick our hook through really any stitch. So we got this right here. And then we're going to take our cream and simply loop it around our hook and pull through to have something like this. And now I'm going to chain up and just grab both of them just to kind of secure this first stitch here like that. And now I'm going to hold these two ends along my crochet here to kind of weave them in as I go. And like I said, we're just doing single crochets. So you're going to find the next stitch and pull one through, then pull through both. All right, so one per stitch all the way around. I know you have a lot of stitches here at this point, but the single crochets should go a little bit faster than the double crochets, of course. And I think now we can cut off these two ends. All right. So just keep going as like this. 
and all the way around just one row and we'll meet back up at the end here all right so here we are coming up to the end and we're just going to slip stitch actually we're going to do one single crochet into the one that we started into just so that it looks really seamless and continuous and then we'll go ahead and slip stitch into this second one i don't know if you can see that but i'm gonna skip this one and then go into this stitch right here and we'll just slip stitch in we're gonna cut our tail like this and I'm gonna loop it through and pull it tight grab our yarn needle and we're just going to sew in this end Alright, good enough. So, final product with the trim is gonna look something like this. Santa had vibes. But we just have to add those circles, so that will be our next step. Now, so aside from the trim detailing that we do around the hat we also do the cute little circles on top of it um so there are two different varieties that you're going to need to make for my pattern specifically um so the first variety is just the smaller circle and then the other one is the bigger circle so first we'll just make the smaller ones and you are going to need to know how to do a magic circle for this but i'll show you my technique so that involves making this little loop doesn't matter how you get there, just needs to look like this with this one in the back. If you can see here. We're going to take our hook, go through the loop. We're going to grab this yarn and pull under and through. And then we're going to chain one. So this is our magic circle right now. And so for the pattern, for the first round of the smaller circle, you're going to do six single crochets. So working right into this with this circle as our foundation here. Got one and two and three. So we focused here. Kind of. And now we're gonna have four. And five and six. Okay, so it should look like something like this. And we are going to simply pull this tail to tighten our circle. And we have something like this now. Tiny little circle. Alright, so for round two of the smaller circle, we are going to do an increase in each stitch. So each of the six stitches, we're actually gonna do two single crochets for a total of 12 stitches after the second round. All right, so if we can wriggle this little crochet hook in here, and you can cut this tail off if you like or kind of crochet it in for a minute. I think I'll do that. But one in the first stitch and two in the first stitch as well. That's a little bit hard to see. So in the next one, we're gonna do two as well. One, two, third stitch, one, two. All right, so then just do that all the way around and that is, there's only two rounds for the smaller circle, so that is all. All right, so at the end of this second round, I'm gonna actually Cut off this tail and then with the other end we are going to just simply slip stitch into the first stitch of the round to kind of end this off and then we are going to cut a 
decent length of a tail. I would say like maybe this much, I don't know. You can do like a foot to be safe uh, because we are going to be sewing each of the circles onto the hat. So this is the first one. We're just gonna pull this through to kind of finish it off and pull that tight. And this is what your smaller circle should look like. And spoiler alert, the larger circle is exactly this, but with one more round. So let's go ahead and do that one now. So you can see me starting the magic circle again, I guess. I do have another video solely dedicated to the magic circle. So if you are struggling and uh, need it slowed down a little bit, you can check that out. But again, for the first round, we are going to do six single crochets, just like the last one. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to tighten the circle. There we go. And for this one, each stitch, we're going to single crochet increase. Same as, uh, same as last time with the smaller circle. One and two. One and two all the way around. Okay, perfect. So this is the end of round two and we have 12 stitches at this point. So for the third and final round of this larger circle, we're gonna do the first stitch will be an increase and then the next stitch will just be a single crochet. So we'll do two single crochets in the first one, one single crochet in the next one, two single crochets, one single crochet, all the way around, and I believe we should have 18 stitches by the end of that. So let's get started. In this first stitch, two, we're gonna do two single crochets. So that was one, and this is two. And the next one though, we're just gonna do one, and then move on. This one, we'll do two, Next one will be one. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy off. We do not need him. And just continue around. Perfect, so we've got 18 stitches in this third round. And just like the last one, we are going to slip stitch off to end this. And just like that, we're gonna cut a good, you know, foot at least of uh, leftover string and just pull this guy through. All right, and that is what the larger circle looks like. You can see them in comparison. Uh, just to have like a little bit of variation in the circles on the hat. Um, so in total, you'll have to make five of the larger circles and six of the smaller ones. At least that's what I do. You can obviously do more or less. Uh, you could also make like a smaller one if you wanted to have even more little dots on the mushroom. Totally up to you, but I do five of the larger one, <clears throat> six of the smaller one. So just like that, we will have All right, so now that we're done with the making the circles themselves, let's see about how we're gonna orient them on the hat. I will show you the general idea, and actually here's a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Um, and essentially we're, we're going to put eight of these circles around the hat, uh, four of the larger ones, four of the smaller ones, and we're going to alternate. And then we're gonna put three on the top in total, which will be made up of one larger one and two of the smaller ones. At least that's what I do. So let's see how that's gonna look. 
So the idea is we'll put eight around on this kind of area of the hat and then three on the top. So if you want, you can separate out the three for the top and of those three, we're gonna do one bigger one and two smaller ones for the top. So take these away, set them aside because we're gonna do the ones around the side of the hat first. So you should be left with four of the larger ones, four of the smaller ones. So basically first we'll take a smaller circle and we're gonna place it maybe here, okay? And then the next one you will place about here. We're gonna take a bigger one and you are gonna do that all the way around like this. Just go around the entirety of the hat. If you wanna put them closer together maybe and crochet more of them, you can do that. You can really do whatever you want um, for this part. This is just how I like to do it. And you can just look at a reference picture of mine if you'd like. But I'll go ahead and show you how I like to sew on these to the hat. Okay, so first you're gonna take your little circle guy and take the yarn end and weave that through your yarn needle. What about this? I'm going to pinch him at the end here. I think that makes it easiest to weave it through. But luckily your yarn needles have a big opening, so it's a little bit easier to weave him through. But you have something like this. And so I personally for sewing things on just like to hold it in place you can use pins um i'm i don't know not patient enough i guess but you're gonna find where you want to place this circle so i'm gonna just say right here i think this looks good and i'm gonna pinch it down with one finger on the inside one on the outside and then it's kind of self-explanatory you just grab one yarn in the red guy and grab the guy in the cream. So you have both on your hook and you pull it through and then you do the same but I just do one in each stitch from the white. Grab a red, grab a white, and you want the two that you grab to be pretty close together so that you can't really see the, uh, the yarn I guess hanging way out from the circle. If you want to try to grab under that's also a little bit more sneaky but this part isn't too precise you can do whatever you like all right so now we're all the way around the circle and he's on there pretty good so we're just going to tie in our yarn end really well so what I like to do is I like to grab one last guy in the red for the last one and then push my needle through towards, a little bit more towards the center. So like here is good. And then I pull it through, pretty tight. And I will then go through one of these white guys near where I pulled this yarn through. So maybe like this guy. And before you pull it completely through this, this end, before you pull it all the way through, you're going to make a knot. So all that means is pushing the needle through this little loop here, like that, and tightening him down. Like that. And then to kind of hide that knot, I go back in where I made the knot and just come out at another part of the circle, like this. And pull it tight so it kind of hides the knot down right here. And then we clip our end like that. And you have your first circle sewn on. So just follow that alternating powder, pattern, uh, small, bigger, small, bigger, all the way around. And then for the top specifically, we are going to look at, what, look at him like that. And like I said, we have three for the top. You can do more if you like. This is what I do. So I just place these as so. Like I'll put the bigger one here and then the smaller ones I'll kind of 
make a little triangle with him. You can place it however you like, as wide as you like. But you'll sew them on like that, some kind of way like this. And that is all, so I will go ahead and sew on the rest of these mm, 10 circles and show you the finished product. And this is your finished product. I think it is super adorable. Cottage core vibes. We love to see it. Um, and if you could tell kind of what I meant by that last description of the orientation, we have alternating, big, small. I kind of do the big ones on top and then the small ones on bottom. And this is also what I meant by the top three. Big one, small one, small one. Um, all the way around. And uh, you'll have something that looks like this. So if you enjoyed this little project, give the video a thumbs up and tell me what you would like to see down in the comments below. I need more ideas for videos. I have a few more coming up, but I want your input. So let me know, but make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys with my next crochet project.